Aboriginal TV, Channel 4. Putting Aboriginal news first. NT Minister for Aboriginal Affairs and Education, Selina Yubo, has witnessed firsthand the cyclone shelter in the Ramanginning Aboriginal community after the recent $5.5 million upgrade. Meeting with Minister Yubo in the Ramanginning community was the staff and students of the Ramanginning School, who are excited to show the NT Minister some English and technology projects they've been working on, including the use of a 3D printer and robotics. The need for this cyclone shelter was driven by community elders for cyclone safety during the, the, the big wet seasons and we know the cyclone season here in the top end. This is a $5.5 million project with $4.5 million coming from the Northern Territory Government and a $1 million coming from the Australian Government from the Natural Disaster Fund. Um, so we've got some locals here who are going to talk about some of the great things that have come from having this cyclone shelter in Ramanginning. My name's Linda Ulamana. I work here at school for 22 years. Nam na huninga ye a mount lakarangal dual napurung dial ramen green school. For us, having an indoor covered area that the kids could use for their PE, for recreation, for when we needed to have a large gathering, that's been a huge plus for the school. But the other thing is that most of the oldest people that I speak to in the community have never experienced a cyclone before. And for them, going through the cyclone was a very traumatic experience. And not having somewhere to ride it out safely was a big deal for them. So there was a very strong push from the community after the cyclone to say, we need a cyclone shelter. And it's been great to see that we got one. The recently completed cyclone shelter construction has directly employed 30 community members alone and is now providing an additional safe emergency shelter for the 270 students of the community school during cyclonic conditions. The minister was impressed by the way the community students are working with new technological programs that are the way of the future for development and innovation in the NT. Aboriginal TV, Channel 4 putting Aboriginal news first.